Hi, this video is about something which is sometimes called untied fixed points and the Y Combinator. It's a subject that I really like because uh, chronologically when I was learning about these functional languages it's the first thing that made me say, made me think, this is cool. So, let's start. Everybody knows Fibonacci numbers, it's the standard example for a recursive function and I'm gonna use it here as well. Okay, you see that here I needed to specify the rec keyword because this identifier is used while being defined. Well, there's an easy transformation I can do to get rid of this keyword. I just rename the function being defined. So now the function being defined is not being called. Uh, but this one is still undefined. To solve this problem, I just added as an argument. And this is a typo. Okay, so this transformation is automatic. It can be applied to any recursive function. And what it does is that starting with some function from A to B, it produces a function uh, with the following type. It takes a function to call recursively, and then the result is as before. Now for this type I will use a shorthand notation with this circle just meaning you take whatever is on the left and you make an arrow to itself. Why would you do this transformation? Just to get rid of the red keyword? Well no, there's two nice things about it. One is that you can recover the original function and the other is that you can transform it in several ways. For example, to log the arguments or to cache the computation. Let's see first how we recover the original function. For that we defined one recursive function which takes an untied version of the function. and computes the tied version. How does it do that? Well, it says you call the untied version, but you give it as the first argument, the tied version of the function, which you do using y, the y combinator. So it, it's a very recursive definition, I agree. Uh, the type of this y combinator is polymorphic in AB. It takes an untied function and gives you back the tied version. The other nice thing, as I said, is that you can uh, uh, define transformers for these untied functions. And transformers are things with which have the type with two O's, which of course stands for this whole thing repeat it. So one possible transformer is one that uh, adds pretty printing to arguments. So it logs, it takes a pretty printer for the argument and then we'll have something with this type. The first argument is an untied function. The second argument is what we call recursively and then comes the argument itself and what we do is we pretty print the argument and then we just use f prime to compute the result so you notice that this is a little bit of a factory for transformers because it types is, is not is exactly the one from above 
uh, it also takes this pretty printer as a first argument so it takes some function that does something with the arguments and then returns a transformer uh, another possible transformer would be uh, one that add mem add adds a cache out to a function also known as memoization so this would have look the same take f prime f x equals and then somebody now this is actually syntactic sugar for saying that this is a function that takes fx and then the body so I'm gonna write it like this because I want to do something before taking the other arguments I want to create the hash the cache table corresponding to this function f prime so once I'm given the function that I'm supposed to memoize I also want to create the the, the hash table And then what do we do? Well, the first thing we do is that we try to look up the argument in the hash table. And if that fails, fails we compute the result by calling the functions we, we were given the function we are given then we put the result in, a, in the cache and then we return r the result okay so this memoize function is just a transformer its type is this uh, a b o o finally we can uh, define some functions that we can try and see what they do so something that just computes a Fibonacci numbers would be defined by saying uh, tie the untied version of Fibonacci if we want one that also logs its arguments we say well we're gonna tie but this time we're gonna log by printing the first the, the argument as an integer I'm gonna define this helper function pp in separately because I'll use it one more time it's just something that prints an integer okay and uh, we could also say well I also want to memoize the Fibonacci function and also log it let's say so I say well I'm gonna memoize what you get by logging the arguments of Fibonacci prime and now we have all the functions we need we can try them uh, but first let's see if this thing com compiles because it does a lot of code yes it does compile and what does it do well let's see first if it compiles something uh, compute something sensible yes that looks right let's see how it com computes it by logging what it does we can see a, a lot more recursive calls than five and let's see if memoizing it helps yes now there are much fewer recursive calls so he one thing to notice is that uh, in a previous video I was uh, showing how to compute all the trees that have a certain in order traversal and one of the question was uh, what's inefficient about this it was recomputing the same thing one of the inefficiencies was that it was recomputing the same thing several times so we would benefit from from uh, caching which could be done using the techniques fr from this video 
Now, another thing that you might want to think about is the following. Here you see the arguments at which the function was called. And of you might want to see instead of just a list of these arguments, you might want to have the, to see the call tree, to print the call tree. And the nodes are going to be labeled with the values of the arguments. So a question is, how do you do that? Another question, if you are uh, interested in types and stuff like that, and uh, would be if it's possible to define this y function without recursion at all. And the trick for that is that you have to write something that does not type check. How would you do that? Okay, that was all.